Hello everyone, today I'm going to have a very useful video for absolutely everyone. I'll show you how to enlarge the battery icon on your smartphone without any apps or programs. I'm referring to the battery icon that's on everyone's screen, at the very top, on the right side. For example, mine currently shows 77%. Dot. It's actually very, very small on almost everyone. Mine is currently considered average, while for others it's even smaller, but it can be enlarged several times. I'll tell you that there are many different settings on your smartphone that can increase the size of this battery. And first of all, this is very, very convenient because at arm's length, this battery is practically invisible, but we pay a lot of attention to it throughout the day. Because we keep track of how much battery we have left. But if you're walking down the street during the day, you'll definitely have a very hard time seeing this battery. Overall, after increasing the battery size, you'll be very pleased because you won't have to keep a close eye on it. Not everyone has perfect vision. And sometimes, even with glasses, you really need to keep an eye on how much battery life is left or what percentage of charge it currently has. I'll show you a few settings you can adjust on your phone, even if you don't find some of the settings on your phone, because I understand that smartphones are different, operating systems are different, and settings may vary slightly. However, in this video, I'll also show you a universal option that works with absolutely any phone model. All you have to do is watch this video carefully and choose the option that suits you best. And once again, I'll remind you that it's completely free and you don't need any apps. Be sure to support the video with a like, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. Also, if you have the hype button available, click it to support this video. It's completely free for you, and I'd be very grateful. So, I'll answer some questions right away. Many people will say why bother searching for settings somewhere when you can just change the theme and this icon will change. Yes, in principle, you can do that, but believe me, firstly, you'll have to go into those same themes, for example, and really comb through a lot of them. In most themes, this icon barely changes, and even if it does increase, it's only slightly. But at the same time, various icons you're used to will also change. Therefore, this option won't suit everyone, and you likely won't achieve the result you're looking for. Personally, I'll make a separate review for you, showing which themes can be used for increasing the screen size, but with some nuances. For now, look at what I want to show you. Many people can't find these settings because they usually look for them in the standard settings. And here, when you scroll, there's a section responsible for battery. Here it is. Click here. Well, there's really nothing special here. Wherever you tap, there's no real battery size setting, meaning there's no way to change anything. That's why most people go there, don't find anything useful, and think it's impossible to do anything. But in fact, this setting is hidden away. I'm showing you the easiest way to change the size, and more. So, let's go ahead and, so you don't get confused, let's go to the main menu. By the way, remember what the current battery size is. Let's go to the regular standard settings. Now we need to find the section that controls the screen, your display. Here. Click on this line and you'll find this hidden setting called, Control Center and Status Bar. Click on this line and you'll see this menu. Here, look, we have a line that controls the battery indicator. Look. Everyone will have this one by default. That is, the average value, when it is shown in the middle of the battery, the percentage remaining. Well, the battery itself will be slightly shaded. Let me make it closer for you. Look, I have it displayed exactly like this. And this is the setting on most phones. So, now let's remember what the current size is and what we need to do. We just need to change it to this lower value. Let me draw your attention again, look at the current battery size. I'll click on this lower value. And look how much it has increased. Well, it's become about three or four times larger. The battery itself has become larger. It's displayed separately. Plus, the battery is shaded blue, and there are even larger percentage numbers separately, indicating how much is remaining. Even if I move the smartphone at arm's length, it's actually much easier to see, and it's already become more pleasant to use. And you don't look closely anymore, but someone will say, I, let's say, want the size to be even larger than this one. This size is too small for me. I want the numbers to be larger, so that the battery is even larger. Or, perhaps, you just haven't found this specific line, this setting. And now I'll show you a universal method, a universal option for absolutely all models, to make this value even larger. In addition to what we've just configured, look, I'm currently leaving this value as it is. That is, we've already increased it. Here. And we'll increase it several times more. Look. Let's exit so you don't get confused. Next, you need to find the usual standard settings. Click in here we look for information about your phone or information about the phone. Click. Next, you need to find the version of your firmware. 
This line. If these are Samsung phones or some similar other models, then the build number will be called. You need to click the build number several times quickly. Here, I'm clicking in front of you, I it says, no need, you're already a developer. If you're doing this for the first time, it'll say, congratulations, you've become a developer. Next, to avoid confusion, use the back arrow. Now scroll down and find advanced settings. This is the line. Click here. Now scroll to the very bottom. You should see a line called for developers. If you don't have advanced settings on your smartphone, but some manufacturers don't offer this feature, then you have it either in the general settings or, like Samsung, in the system section, also for developers. As a last resort, you can use the search in the settings, which are found when you first enter the settings. Here you enter for developers and find the specific line that was activated. So, watch what we do next. Be sure to watch the video to the end because I'll show you some more nuances that will be very useful. Look, let's go to for developers. This is the functionality that's here. It's very large. The only downside here is that there's no search. You have to scroll through it all manually, search, and these functions will be more or less depending on the phone. But the function that I'm going to show you now is available on all smartphones. Look, you just need to scroll and look for where there's some kind of inscription, and at the bottom there will be some kind of numerical value. Here, because the name may differ slightly, for example, but you can determine this value by the numbers. Look, for example, in my case it's called minimum width, and I have 438 dp written at the bottom. Look, I click here, and I'm shown this numerical value. These numbers will be absolutely different on all smartphones. For example, mine is 438. Someone else might have 400, 420, or even more than 500. Perhaps more, perhaps less. It already depends on the resolution of your screen. So, what I personally set on mine, you can set in the same way and check. If it doesn't suit you, you you can set some other value of your own. That is, this way you will determine which size suits you best. Look, in front of you, I take and delete 438. And what I often use is size 311. I think this is the most normal size, which is not too big, but not too small. And now I pay close attention to the battery itself. Look. That is, now it is enlarged. That is, we have enlarged it. And now we will make it even bigger. Click OK. Pay attention to how it changes. Click OK. And now look, well, it has actually increased further by somewhere 3, 4, or even 5 times. Agree that if you look like this, you can see even from afar, the size is simply excellent. It is very convenient to use if you have a battery of this size. But some users will also notice an increase in all these fonts and an even larger icon size. That is, look, I go out, look, the size has remained the same, but they have also increased all these icons are now larger than before. You can rewind the video a little and see that these icons are about half the size they were before. Plus, if you go to the standard settings now, these icons are also larger. And the font itself, all these names, they've also become larger. That is, the letters are big. Personally, I can tell you that this size is really cool. Everything suits me perfectly. And the size of these icons, it's both small and not small. That is, it's perfectly normal, and the size in the settings. That is, the font is also small and not small, somewhere in the middle, yes, and the icons, in principle, look fine. But there will also be people who will say that this doesn't suit us. Why do we need these huge icons, these huge icons? We're used to everything being small. We just want it to be this big and nothing more. So, watch the video to the end. I'll show you how to now make all these icons, all these text boxes, the letters remained small, but this icon remained large. To do this, we go back, go to the regular standard settings, click on search and enter the word images here. And now we search for the size of the images, that is, the icons. At the moment, the size of the icons has increased in addition to this setting. We just need to reduce them. Well, let's take, for example, and make them like they were before. Go back a little with the arrow. And now here we delete this word and write the text or the text size. And find here the setting that controls the text size. We will have a value somewhere in the middle. Just make it smaller. Well, let's set the smallest one, for example. Now go back with the arrow. In general, we exit these settings. Here is a mini reboot. And look, at the moment, all these icons, they are the same size as they were initially at the beginning of the video. They were small. If we go to the settings, again, look, everything has changed. This is the text size, it's become about half the size. These icons on the left side have also become smaller, but we've kept this battery size. 
So, look, it's still big, so to speak. You can make it even bigger. Just set the values there lower than 311, and it will be even bigger. Well, obviously, if it's too big for you, then set it to 320 to 350. That is, try the size that suits you personally. It happens that when you set 311, if you want to do exactly what I did, it sets some value next to it. It might set 320, 318. This is normal. That is, your smartphone automatically selects the width so that the screen resolution normally matches all the functions that are on your smartphone, on your screen. Therefore, it may not always be the case that 311 specifically will work correctly. And it also happens that if you need a specific number, then you can enter it the second time. In general, try and you can undo all of this in literally 10 seconds. It's a no-brainer for you, and it'll be a very useful setting for many. Look how quickly it all changes back. We enter developer mode in the same way. Here, we find this value. See, 311 is fine for me now. And, for example, remember, it was 458. Well, let's set that too. And see how small it has become. And now everything is small here too. But we also reduce the font size there. We also reduce the icons. So, if you did all this, you'll now have to enlarge the icons and increase the font size a little. Anyway, enjoy, and don't forget to give the video a like.